Hello, it's Wednesday. Um, I don't know what the date is. The date is whatever it is. Uh, time for a small tool haul. I went to Home Depot, Canadian Tire, and Princess Auto. So we'll start with Canadian Tire. I bought these Sure Wipe wiper springs. They go on your windshield wipers and they, they push down. I'll see if this will focus in on there. Right there. They just help push the wipers, the wiper arm further, harder against the, the window. So if it's missing spots, you know, sometimes your wiper goes and the whole uh, wiper isn't making contact. These will help. I really just wanted them for the my back windshield wiper on my SUV because it, it's about that long, but it only swipes about that much, that much spot. So I'm going to try these and see if they'll help. They were like 10 bucks at Canadian Tire. Oh, instructions even. Ooh. All right, we'll put aside. Uh, another thing I bought at Home Depot, and they're on sale, it was like 20 bucks, regular 30 bucks, is this little battery powered pump. And you just sub uh, put this down in the, the water, the puddle, whatever you're draining, the tub. You can hook this up to a hose or just use it to discharge to whatever it wants. It takes three D sized batteries. So there's no electrical cord, it sucks up through there and these kind of act as a little, these act as a little screen. Sorry, I keep going off camera here. And just, pumps on its own. The reason I bought it was for our hot tub. When we drain it, we drain it every two months. I shouldn't say uh, we drain it. My wife does all the hot tub maintenance. But usually there's about this much water left in the bottom so this should be good for sucking that out. And like that, it was cheap. It was regular 40 bucks, 39 or something. It was 19. So I grabbed that. Um, and then on to Princess Auto in their surplus section. You never know what you'll find in their surplus section. It's different all the time. This is a extreme brand selfie stick wireless Bluetooth. Wireless Bluetooth selfie stick. So, well actually that would fit on a camera too, so that could be handy. And it extends, of course, and has a button for the Bluetooth to do it. And this is the camera holder, which would screw onto there. There we go. And it's adjustable for different size phones, so that's cool. And it's rechargeable because it operates on Bluetooth, so you have to charge it to actually use the Bluetooth button to turn it on and to take the picture. So I'll plug that in and give it a bit of a better review later on once I've used it. Once it's been charged. I was, I was going to say, oh no, no instructions. Got to have instructions. There we go. Ooh, enter to win free monthly giveaways too. How exciting. Okay. Right. So that's that. We'll set that aside too. Next thing I bought from Princess Auto. I was looking for some 12 point sockets for uh, things like drive lines, cha changing U joints and stuff. And I was just going to buy a regular set, but they had a 7 piece 3 8 drive metric universal joint socket set on sale. So I grabbed it, and it's a 12 point. I figure it'll be handy for other things aside from that, because I don't really have many universals. I don't have any universal chromes. I do in SAE, but none in metric. And this was $29 on sale. I think it's regular $39. I'm terrible with prices, but that's it. It doesn't look too bad, actually. And it's a 19, 17, 15, 14, 13, oh, I don't know what that is, 11, and that better be a 10. Yes, it's a 10. All right, I don't know why they couldn't put these all on here so you could see all the, the sizes on the same side. Was that, is that too difficult for people? Anyway, I'll do that later. So that's those. We'll put those aside. And like all Princess Auto stuff, they have like a lifetime guarantee. So if they break, they break. I'll just take them in, get new ones. There you go. Um, another thing I bought, I have one of these already, but I was waiting for them to go back on sale for under 20 bucks anyway, I'll say. It's just a power bar. It's a really long power bar. It's a 12 outlet, how long? Doesn't say. 
How about that? I don't know. It's this long. What do we got? One inch. It's like 35 inches. 12 outlets, switched power bar. And I wanted that for the top of my toolbox. The toolbox has a power bar on the side with USB ports, but it'd be nice to have some power bars, power sockets on top, switchable. So yeah, that's what I got that for. I might go back and get another one for the house. These are really handy. You can just stick them behind things and you have a million plugs. You can hold them that way, lay them down, whatever you want to do with them. So that's that. That was the main thing I went to Princess Auto for. The other main thing I went to for was this 6 and 12 volt battery load tester. I looked online after watching some videos and various websites for a battery tester. And I've seen the digital ones, they're Schumacher ones. I looked at a Mac one on the truck. And they're neat, the little digital ones, but they don't seem to do anything more than I can do with a multimeter. They don't put a load, I don't see how they really test the battery. They don't do a load load test. So I want one of these. And they have the digital kind, but this is the analog meter. And I looked online, I was going to order one on Amazon. And on Amazon they're 59 or 49. And I actually got this for 39. And it's the Princess Auto brand Power Fist. But I believe it's made by Schumacher because Princess Auto doesn't make anything themselves. Or it's a direct copy of Schumacher's because Schumacher makes all this stuff. So, ooh, you can already smell it. And I'll be doing a video on this in a little while. I'll probably be posting it shortly after this one. And is this one? All right. All right, we're, we're like three for three with instructions here. So yeah, basically you just, this one, you clamp it to the battery, positive and negative, of course. Push the button on for a while. It won't stay on. And it has an element in there that draws current and, and puts a load on the battery. And it tells you, you know, bad, weak, the cranking volts, okay, 6 volt replace, 12 volt, etc. And it tests alternators and blah, blah, blah. What does it say on the box, actually? It says, test charging system, battery condition, and starter motor. I haven't read the instructions. But anyway, this seemed to be the way to go rather than the small digital ones. It's not as fancy or cool, but it, it just seems like a better thing, a better idea to me. And the battery on green is good, weak or bad, blah, 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 battery temperature. And I've been told from reading online, when you first use it, it might smoke a little bit, but that's natural. Kind of like my heat gun did when I first used it, it put out a little smoke. So that's it. I'll be doing a video on that later. And what else? The other thing I bought, bought a... Hose reel for the garden for outside. Holds 200 feet of hose. Bought that at Princess Auto. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, thanks for watching and maybe later catch my other video on showing you what the battery load tester does and how to use it. Thanks a lot, have a great day. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe. Hit the like button and comment. As always, I love comments. I'll reply to your comments. Have a great day.